to death news. During the commercial break, 317 more souls were condemned to hell. And now for the news. A 17-year-old Ukrainian was found dead after being smothered by his grandmother sometime last night. When asked why, Muriel Thurman, 72, simply said, for the lulls via text. In other news, 14 other people died this morning. Dude, are you serious? This shit again? Why do you waste your time on this garbage? You got a better idea? No. Guess not. And now, for the first time, live footage of an innocent woman losing her life. Wow, that's the best evisceration I've seen in a long time. We'll be right back. Death Note, Fridays at 9 on the Murder Channel, where viewers go to die. But please don't, we can use the ratings. Death Note, man, we should watch that! Death Note, man. Huh. It's an anime. Anime, remember? Never heard of it. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, we're done with this. Dragon Eater Man. Hey, what the fuck, man? I was watching that. Oh, son of a... Uh. We're gonna watch Death Note. Fine. I don't like that show anyway. Whenever I sang my songs on the stage on my own, whenever I said my words, wishing they would be heard, I saw you smiling at me. Was it real or just my fantasy? You'd always be there in the corner of this tiny. And welcome to Cover by Cover. I'm Ass Blaster McPuff and stuff. And I'm never on time. That's accurate. So, uh, what are we doing this week? Well, it's only one of the best anime of all time. One of the best... I, I feel like I would have heard about this at some point. Well, I'm actually not surprised that you haven't. I mean, it's been years since they reprinted this thing, much less actually advertised for it, but... You know what? I'll still be happy to tell you guys all about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Death Note. To date, Death Note is Weekly Shonen Jump's best-selling manga of all time. In addition to the anime we'll be looking at today, it's also been made into two Japanese feature films, and Iron Man 3 director Shane Black is working on an American remake. The anime is a property of Madhouse, arguably the best animation studio in Japan, so... Why has this anime faded into relative obscurity? Well, honestly, I don't know. People still know Cowboy Bebop and Ninja Scroll, and those haven't been re-released in a decade or more. And I'd put Death Note on the same level as some of those all-time greats. But it's perpetually surprising to me when convention goers have never even heard of it. I mean, shit, guys, aren't you supposed to be anime fans? I mean, I guess I remember watching some of it a while back, and it's pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Did you watch it in the English or Japanese? English? Oh, shit, dude, you did it wrong. What you talking about, Will? You going kawaii on me, motherfucker? No, I'm just saying that the only way to really watch this show is in the original Japanese, and I don't normally say that. Yeah, okay, whatever. I think I'll be fine sticking with my American English. Thank you very much. Well, anyway, let's cue up the subtitles. It's time for Death Note, East and West. Fucking racist. So we kick things off in the land of eternal sunshine and happiness.
which the Joker clearly destroyed with his all-consuming chaos. Gee, thanks, undead demon Heath Ledger. Actually, new nightmare here is a Shinigami named Ryuk. But what the hell's a Shinigami? Well, they're essentially death gods, but based on what variety of Japanese lore you read, they're completely different things. However, in the Yogacara sect of Buddhism, they're actual beings that determine when people die. Okay, is there any reason we need to know that, Will? No, not particularly. I just think it's ironic that the people who invented yoga also inspired the most potent image of depression I've ever seen. I'm more into Magic the Gathering anyway. One thing I definitely think the Japanese actors capture here is the sheer demoralizing boredom that these Shinigami must feel. Really, dude? You're okay? Because aside from your scarred smile that I'm sure you carved into your own face, you look about ready to thousand yards stare a hole through the horizon. Yeah. Next, we're introduced to our protagonist. Kinda. Yagami Light, or Light Yagami in the English version. Okay, seriously, what asshole left the murder channel on public broadcast? The next day, Light is minding his own business in class when a book falling from the sky gives him the weirdest orgasm in Japanese history. He heads down to check it out, and it turns out to be the eponymous Notebook of Death. On the other hand, my sister did leave the cereal out again. So Light takes the Death Note home and reads the first few rules out loud. Basically, if he writes a person's name into the notebook, they'll die of a heart attack in 40 seconds. However, within those 40 seconds, if he specifies a cause of death, it will come true. In addition, he would then have 400 seconds to write any details about the cause of their death, such as time, location, etc. Given all this information, he takes some time to consider his options. (sighs) Did Light just let out a really long fart, or was that the soundtrack? Was it the Death Note? Damn it, Death Note, no more burritos for you! Another heart attack. What the hell is going on? Fortunately, the Murder Channel is the only channel in Japan, as Light just happens to have his moral crisis here, just as a murderer has taken eight hostages at a daycare center. Because uh, Japan is terrible, I don't know. And he finds his perfect test case. Mm. やっぱり何も起こらない。ま、当たり前か。あ、ちょっと待ってください。動きがあったようです。あ、タイマー。情報が入りました。犯人は保育園内で死亡。犯人は死亡したもようです。それが人質の証言では犯人は突然倒れた
You know that's not going to work, right? Shut the fuck up, man. You gotta believe in the cash. So Ryuk, who has actually been violating the rules of the Shinigami and carrying around two Death Notes, although you'd never guess from all the fucks none of them give, eventually gets up the motivation to move and heads down to see what's become of his deadly implement. After Light uses the Death Note to kill a rapist with a semi-truck, because that's awesome, he falls victim to another ethical quandary. You know, he's right. This world is made of rotten teeth and festering ooze. We should do something! What do you suggest we do? Hmm. Well, we should probably take our time, really think it through. You know, formulate a solid plan. Make sure, double check, make sure it's completely foolproof, and then- Or you know, you could just kill like 400 convicts overnight. I guess that's one way to do it. So just as Light is gleefully patting himself on the back with his insane right hand, Ryuk shows up to piss hate all over his black parade. Huh. <laughs> Whoa! Boom, motherfucker! Drop it like it's hot! Drop it like it just said on this fucking anime! English! Number one language on the planet! Maybe we should be watching this shit in English! Boo! I don't give a fuck! Can you imagine what that would be like? Believing that you were selected for this task by a higher purpose, and then having the god that gave it to you come down and tell you, What, that? <laughs> nah, that was just my mid-afternoon joke. And you, you're just some stooge. Wow, talk about shitting in someone's cornflakes. The implications for that are as soul-crushing as anything can be, as it means that everything in the show's universe has no greater purpose or meaning. It's all just some lark at humanity's expense. However, because Light has gone full nutcase, his immediate response is, Challenge accepted! <laughs> After that flurry of pure awesome, Light explains to Ryuk that he plans to rid the world of all bad people so that only the good will remain. However, Ryuk, being a god, finds a flaw in his plan. And I'm the best magic player in all of Waukesha County. Who gives a fuck? Well, holy shit, I'm glad that Ryuk finds mass genocide interesting, because I'm terrified that someone with such an insanely bloated sense of self-importance is going to be judging us. Anyway, the episode ends. Alright, now what I'd like to do is take a look at that scene again in the English version, if you'll indulge me. What, so you can just point out how inferior it is to your Japanese version? Well, yeah, actually. Oh, very good of you, son. Please, let us bestow with your mighty monitor, son. Yeah, fine, I will. First of all, I want to point out how much I hate Ryuk's English That's voice. <laughs> I didn't choose you. Don't you see, this is all just an accident. You actually thought you were chosen because you're so smart or something? Don't be so vain. 
It just happened to fall around here, and you just happened to pick it up, and that's all there is to it. Ryuk shouldn't sound menacing, because he's not a menace so much as an observer. A bystander, really. Unless he's pulled into Light's quest, he's not involved at all. So I don't think he should sound like he relishes telling Light that it's all meaningless. It almost sounds like it's making him happy. You're asking me why? I did it because I was bored. In stark contrast to this, Japanese Ryuk sounds very matter-of-fact. Light sees him as antagonistic in a few regards, but he's really not. He just wants to be entertained for once because his life is an endless eternity of boredom. But whether he's talking about the Shinigami realm, why he dropped the Death Note, or just remarking to his fellow Shinigami, it's all the same somber tone, right up until he finally gets an inkling that this experience might be different. I think he's just the perfect actor to pull off this role, because the English actor sounds a lot more... cartoonish. <sighs> Apples in the human world are worth the trip. What's the best way to describe these? Juicy? Juicy. Now let's take a look at Light's climactic scene. It'll be a new world, free of injustice and populated by people who I've judged to be honest, kind, and hardworking. But if you did that, it would make you the only bad person left. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm a hardworking honor student who's considered to be one of Japan's best and brightest. And I... I will become the god of this new world. I'm not entirely sure why, but Light sounds weaker in the English. His voice wavers more, he sounds less self-assured. And he's not THE best in all of Japan, he's just one of the best. It just comes off as softened, whereas the Japanese actor, in my opinion, pulls off the portrayal of a sociopath so much better. Oh? See what I mean? The English version sounds silly, as if he's saying, uh, Yeah, of course I knew you were coming. I'm brilliant. Whereas, the Japanese version can still give that impression, but Light's personality so quickly turns on a dime that it's imposing, scary, and it becomes believable the more he talks. Well, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yeah, Will, it is just you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The English sounds just fine to me. What, are you, you gonna turn into a hipster now and say, Oh, you have to watch all anime in Japanese because that's how you get the authentic experience. Um, no. Actually, it just so happens that Death Note was the first real anime I watched that wasn't a 4Kids production. I don't know, the Japanese just feels a lot stronger to me. Like it was meant for this anime. You don't have to be such a dick about it. Well, maybe if you hadn't started this review off with telling me that I'm doing it wrong by watching it in English, we wouldn't have this problem. Again, I don't see anything wrong with the English whatsoever. I honestly do not see nor hear any of what Will is talking about. I watched Death Note in English the first time I saw it, and I loved it just as much as he did, if not more. Light is just as strong of a character. Ryuk is just as menacing, whether he's gobbling apples or telling Light that he's gonna be damned to purgatory for all of eternity for using the Death Note. I think, if anything, it's just as good. Wait, you've seen this show already? You said before you could barely remember watching it! Okay, whoa, hold on. In my defense, I was trying to watch a show about a dude get eaten by a dragon. What? Come on, dude, it's a fucking dragon! It's awesome shit, man. Anyway. Regardless of this whole back and forth, I think we're in agreement. Japanese or English, Death Note is totally worth a watch. Shut the fuck up! Madhouse does some of their best artwork here, and Light is one of the most interesting choices as a main character I've ever seen. He's clearly not a good guy. In fact, if anything, 
He's a potentially sympathetic villain. At best. I mean, regardless of their threat to society, our protagonist has killed hundreds of people in the show's first 20 minutes. Tell me another show where that happens. I dare you. And everything else about the show is great too. The body of the show is a clash of wits between Light and the world's greatest detective, simply known as L. It's one of the most unpredictable, best-told intellectual battles that I've ever seen, and I couldn't recommend it more highly. However, the show is dead serious for its entire run, and it only gets darker and more disturbing as the series progresses. So, if that's not your thing, you may want to avoid this one. But otherwise, I highly recommend all 37 episodes. Yes! Wait, what the hell are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm gonna write your name down in my death note and then I'm gonna take this show for myself! I knew this day would come. That's why I'm well prepared. I'm just gonna write your name down in my death note. And then neither of us will have it. I'd like to see you try. Alright. write anything? Yeah, of course I did. Isn't your name Will Ryan? Hey, you fucking idiot, that's a pseudonym. Wait a minute. Isn't your name JT Camp? Fuck no, it's not. Give me this. Oh, shit. Where's the Shinigami? I need to make a deal. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this week. I'm Will Ryan. And I'm JT Camp. Reminding you at home, always keep a spare death note. Give me that, you bastard. Damn it!